uh, hello everyone in this uh, video we will talk about the concept of mutually exclusive and non mutually exclusive events uh, these concepts are important when it comes to calculate the probability of uh, a scenario to happen so mutually exclusive is a simple event in which uh, two scenarios cannot happen at the same time for example uh, if you flip a coin so this will be a mutually exclusive uh, event so if you flip a coin you can either get heads or you can get tails and the likelihood of getting heads is uh, 50 percent likelihood of getting the tail is 50 percent and if you add the probabilities together it will give you one or which is a hundred percent probability so this both scenarios cannot happen uh, at the same time and that's why we call them mutually exclusive events and uh, for them the probability uh, calculating the probability is much easier but when it comes to non mutually exclusive events then it's get little different uh, now for example uh, suppose there is a population and uh, the likelihood so chances to get diabetes uh, is equal to 10 percent and uh, getting obese uh, is equal to 30 percent so now if i ask you what is the probability that a person is both uh, obese uh, and uh, diabetic then how will you answer that question so this is a case of non mutually exclusive events because a person can get both diabetic and also be obese so in that case uh, we have to uh, consider the concept of uh, um, overlapping so now let's uh, begin here so now suppose if this is your uh, uh, two sets and uh, these are the people who are obese and these are the people who are diabetic so your obese person people are 30 percent and uh, diabetic are uh, 10 percent right but there will be a population which will have both both diabetes and obesity and what will be this population this population will be uh, 0 0.3 into 0 0.1 because this is the probability that a person get both so prob probability for person to get obese is 30 percent and probability to get diabetic is uh, 10 percent so probably to get both will be we have to multiply the probabilities and that will be 0.03 percent so only three percent of the population will be both diabetic and obese so now if you if i ask you the question that what is the probability that both ob a person is both uh, obese and diabetic so that will be equal to uh, 0.03 but if i put a or here that what will happen if the uh, person can be obese or can be diabetic so what's the probability for that in that case you have to uh, add the probabilities together so probability of being obese uh, is uh, 30 uh, probability of being diabetic uh, is uh, uh, 10 and because uh, we are uh, counting first this circle and then this circle we are counting this common circle two times so we have to subtract the combined probability or probability of getting both and uh, in that case uh, it will be equal to uh, 0 0.37 uh, so this is your probability that a person can be both diabetic and both obese so i hope this uh, video makes sense and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, tutorial thanks